Hey everybody, hello and welcome to Relaxed Mouth. Today we're going to talk about five ways that you can actually help increase your level of gratitude in your life. Hey everybody, hello and welcome. All right, five ways that you can actually increase the, your gratitude in life. Um, is not, uh, this is not nearly as difficult or challenging as you would think. Um, these actually help with bringing gratitude into your life. And when you are more grateful, the happier you are in your life. You are, when you are grateful for having the world, uh, having the environment and the place that you're at uh, in your life, you're actually going to be more happy. doesn't mean you're going to be content and you're going to settle for what's going on. It means that you are going to be a happier person. You're going to be a more positive person. You're going to be a more brighter person. Uh, and people are actually going to want to hang around you a lot more if you are a happier and more positive person. So these five ways actually help you to change your your line of thinking from being a half glass, half empty person to a it's actually more closer to being full, uh, actually a, a half full type of person. Um, you see the uh, lighter sides uh, instead of the uh, instead of the dark, gloomy sides. You are more of a ticker than an Eeyore, you know, the, that type of thing. So anyhow, first way you can actually make uh, help with your level of gratitude and increase your gratitude is to take the time to write a thank you card to somebody once a day. Now you're actually taking down, you're buying cards. So it's going to be, this is this little challenge, this little bit costs a bit of money, but it's money well spent. Just buy a pack, you know, the pack of, of thank you cards. And each day, write a thank you note to somebody. I wanted to just say thank you very much for taking the time out of your world to, to sp say hi to me today, you know. Um, a waiter, you brought me a clean fork whenever I dropped mine on the floor. I wanted to just say thank you. It was amazing. Your service is impeccable. Give these, you're, you're doing two things. One, when you do that, when you say thank you, you're telling that person they did a good job. And you're giving them, letting them know that all that they do is not in vain. They are making a difference. And that's all people want to do is they want to make a difference in a person's life. Yeah, they may be the waiter. Um, they may be your, your, your sandwich uh, engineer or whatever they call themselves over at Subway. Um, but any, whatever person of service has done, you are actually letting them know that you have made, they made an impact on you. And that's all they really want to know is that what they have done is has has made a difference to somebody. And when you do that, that might be all a person needs to to have a, a better day. Because yeah, you can have a cruddy day, but if you do um and yeah, you can always, you know, restart a day. Yes, you can, and I'll talk about restarting your day some other time. But you can start your day talk, you may always restart a day, but other people don't realize that you can restart your day. And so they may be going through going, God dang, my car had a flat this morning. I was late for work. The boss griped at me. Blah, blah. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you come along to their day and you say, man, you just made the best tasting sandwich I have ever had. Thank you. And give it an earnest. And that person, oh, well, thank you. Uh, they may still have a, a kind of a crummy day, but you were the sunshine in their day. So if you just take the time and write out a thank you card and give it to and, and if you can mail it, that's even better. But if not, write out a thank you card and just hand it to them. And don't say anything and just hand it to them and walk off and know that you have made their day. Another way that you could actually make uh, your increase your your levels of gratitude in your life is write a gratitude journal every day. 
set, give yourself, uh, uh, five, make, make yourself list out five things you're grateful for. You can uh, adjust the difficulty on this. You can make it really easy and you can repeat stuff if you want to, or you can say, I, you can't repeat the same thing twice within a, you know, a two week period or a two month period. Um, so, and you, you can, you can set the difficulty on this, however, whichever way you like, but what you're doing is you're making yourself think, Hey, I had a great bowl of popcorn. I, I write that down. Thankful for the, the bowl of popcorn that I had. I gave it just enough old Bay seasoning that it just it hit the spot. If you've not ever tried popcorn with old Bay seasoning, do it. It's oh, wow. It's amazing. Good stuff. <laughs> So try writing that down. Spend spend five uh, the, uh, of this next year. Make that a goal if you'd like. That I am going to write down five things every day that I am grateful for. And pay attention to what your what your attitude levels are and how you see the world. All of a sudden, around you know the, about the third month of you doing this you're going to all of a sudden be outside and you're going to go well it's a little sunnier today than it normally is and it's not because the the because the uh the sun's out it's just because your attitude is brighter you're a brighter person and not saying that you were dumb beforehand but you you yeah, you get what i'm saying <laughs> another one is Almost like a prayer, but um, light a candle. Have a set of uh, little white candles um, and uh, have a candle opera and light each one. Light, you know, and say, I'm lighting this candle because I am grateful for X, Y, and Z. And light it and set it on a, on a, on a plate. You can use little votive candles or tea lights or whatever. And you're just, and set that in light. And what you're doing is you're showing the world um, in a very physical way that your gratitude lights the world, lights up a, a place. It may be a very small light, but it's still, it's lighting the, lighting, uh, your area, lighting, lighting the world up a, just a little bit more. So it's more of a symbolic, uh, gesture, but it also, it helps to, to, to concrete your, your gratitude. Now the last one here, now the last one here is a tough one. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat this. This is a mother of a challenge. But if you can accomplish this, you will be uh, amazing. And you will probably, you will find your, your changes are a heck of a lot more dramatic. Try not to complain or use negative words in a 24 hour period. Hang on, 24 hours, I could do that. Until you try to do it. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you realize, holy smokes, I didn't realize I was that negative a person. Until you realize that you were complaining about John just two minutes ago. You were complaining about so-and-so. And so you have to stay very mindful about being positive and being thankful for what, uh, what you're doing. But if you could stay mindful and you could stay in that gratitude, gratuitous line of thinking, you'll be surprised as to... Hello, Biggs. Binks wanted to come by and say hi. See, there he is. There you go. All right, now go play. Um, <laughs> so, Binks the magic, and he's going to be on my lap again. So we're going to have to just deal with a tail in the, in the shot. So <laughs> you're going to fall. So anyhow, um, try not to complain for 24 hours. If you somehow magically are able to do that, um, first off, I'll, I applaud you for doing that. Try a week then and see if you can go a week without actually complaining or being negative. And see what your attitude is after that. Um, I have tried a 24-hour and I get 
most of it if I give myself a couple of mulligans. <laughs> but uh, it, it's, the, it's a tough one. So try that out. Try any of those five uh, uh, ways of increasing your gratitude and see what, what, uh, what comes about. You might actually be surprised as to how bright uh, of a person you really are, how happy you are of, to, be in, uh, to be in the world and how people look at you in a more favorable way. So till then, Binks the Boneheaded Cat and me, I want to say thank you very much for taking the time to watch. If you would, if you would click the subscribe button and uh, click the bell icon uh, if you would like to be notified. But uh, please subscribe to the, to the, the show, um, uh, to the channel, and it would help me out tremendously to be able to get to other people um, so I can use your help to, uh, to get my message out of, of positive and getting outside and enjoying the world as, uh, as much as possible and getting as much, uh, getting, experiencing Mother Nature for all the wonder that she has. So anyhow, you take care. Have a great rest of the day and we will talk to you uh, next week. See ya.